What is up, New Beginnings Church? Happy Friday morning to you. Thank God it's Friday, and uh, hopefully we've come to the end of another great week. I just want you to know I'm so excited, praying for you, looking forward to a great Sunday morning tomorrow at 9.30 and 11 a.m. We'll see you live or we'll see you online. But right now, it's time to get into some encouraging words. These are found in a very, very famous psalm, Psalm chapter 139. It's not an overly long psalm. It's only got 24 verses, but it is so rich and so good. I want to encourage you to go read the whole thing. And if you'll meditate on that chapter, I'm telling you, God will speak to you. There's some really rich and deep things in there. But let me read you the first three verses. It says this, O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all. Everybody say all. You're acquainted with all my ways. I wish I could read the whole thing for you. Maybe I need to do that. Maybe I, my wife told me that. She goes, you need to just read scripture and record it. That way people can like hit play and just, I don't know, maybe there's something soothing about your pastor reading the Bible. But anyway, those verses are so profound. Couple of big thoughts from that is this. You know, yesterday we were talking about being insecure and journeying towards wholeness. One of the ways that I think we really um, start journeying towards wholeness and having a sense of insecurity is when we recognize this idea right here that we are fully known and fully accepted. Let's be honest. Um, Sometimes we have friends and we think to ourselves in our mind, if they really knew everything about me, they might not be my friends, right? Sometimes it's the other way around. Sometimes it's like, I like that person. And then I got to know them too deeply and I'm like, no, 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 I'm not going to hang out with them anymore. See, some things, um, some of the things that create insecurity in us is, again, our guilt, our shame, our past, our sinfulness. And we think because of that, we're not worthy or maybe we can't be fully loved. Anybody who's been through a really damaging experience in life sometimes feels that way, like almost like, how could anybody really love me? They see themselves as too broken. But what David is saying here in this psalm, which by the way, David had a very broken life, a very broken experience. This was a guy who faced incredible rejection by his dad and by his brothers. There's a whole weird story with his mom and his dad I don't want to get into. There's different components to his family and, and the crazy family experience that he had as an adult. I mean, there's a lot of brokenness. Of course, there's the, there's the famous sin with Bathsheba thing. There's a lot of messiness. Let me just say that. And David is saying this, even with all my messiness, God, you know all my ways. And yet, even though you know all of me, you still fully love me. That's a mind-blowing thought because sometimes we do love people conditionally. Once we know too much, we become jaded. And and David's saying, no, God can fully know you and fully love you. And anybody that can, because that's what intimacy really is, right? Intimacy is being fully known and knowing fully and still having love and acceptance. And so I want you to consider that today. If if I could, let me summarize it with these words, is that God believes in you more than you believe in him. And God loves you more than you love him. And God knows everything about your life and still calls you his own. That should give us the confidence, as the writer of Hebrews says, to boldly come to the throne of God of grace. I want you to know you're fully loved in Christ Jesus. And if you would learn to receive that, you would walk with a greater sense of confidence. Actually, I think you'd actually walk closer with God knowing, no, God is with me. God is in me. I'm fully loved. I'm fully accepted. Now I'm actually strengthened and empowered to live out this abundant life. Can I get an amen? Let me pray for you this morning. God, we thank you that you know every aspect of our life and yet you still love us. God, help us to live from that love. God, not us trying to earn your love. It's already there. Let us live from that love and live with the strength and the security that comes from that, Lord. We pray in Jesus' name. Come on, somebody say amen, church. I love you. Have a great weekend. I'll see you on Sunday.